Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Honda NT1100 DCT Tourer first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The 2024 Honda NT1100 is the perfect bike for those looking for a bolder style. Despite not having significant changes compared to the previous model, the new version features two novelties. 102 horsepower. Torque of 2.6 kg FM. In this way, the driver can choose between driving urban and rain modes. That's because the Japanese automaker Honda invested in a new suspension, which has an inverted fork and a single arm rear. However, even having a more robust look, the Honda NT1100 is sophisticated and technological. In addition, it has a 100% digital panel that is touch-sensitive and a 5.0-inch screen. At first, the Japanese automaker will offer two versions of the Honda NT1100. Are they? Manual. DCT Transmission Consumption 2024 Honda NT1100 Currently, every driver, when changing vehicles, is concerned with fuel-related expenses. In this sense, it is interesting to talk about the average consumption of 2024 NT1100. At first, the NT1100 operates at 20 km per liter of fuel. However, it is important to note that this average may vary depending on how the rider drives the motorcycle. Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo 2024 is an upcoming motorcycle expected to be launched in 2023. It will be available in Bianco Polar and Rosso Magma colors. Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo 2024 will have a 1,042 cubic centimeters, single-cylinder, 72-stroke, air-cooled engine that will produce 113 horsepower of power the 77 foot-pounds of torque. The transmission is a six-speed manual. The dimension of the Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo 2024 is 2,126 mm in length, 835 mm in width, and 1416 mm in wheelbase. Its curb weight is 233 kg and seat height is 815 mm. It's a new model year and that means new 2024 bikes are coming. Please stay tuned for more 2024 Moto Guzzi motorcycle news, new 2024 Moto Guzzi motorcycles and 2024 Moto Guzzi information as it is released to us. With total motorcycles 2023 motorcycle model guides complete with over 700 new bikes, 2,665 photos from 22 major manufacturers across the globe it's one of our biggest and most successful years. Our Total Motorcycles 2024 Motorcycle Model Guides are poised to offer the same incredible and unique information you can't and won't find anywhere else, all for free, all in one spot. Moto Guzzi unveiled its future, calling the new V100 Mandelo both a turning point and a new chapter in the company's history. Fortunately, the new chapter remains written through the voice of a horizontally opposed, transverse, V-twin although one that is now liquid-cooled. Without the iconic layout, it would hardly be a Moto Guzzi. The new Suzuki GSX-S 1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki vs. 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSX-S 1000T. It would sit between the GSX-S1000 and the GSX-S1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. We say this because the first-ever spy shots of the ADV tourer have now surfaced on the internet, revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. 
Unlike the naked, the T flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top fairing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX-S1000 GT and feature an all-new shape to set it out from the rest. Also, there's no lower cowl here, as seen on the GT. Other than this, a closer look reveals a new headlight and windscreen. The former has vertically stacked LEDs, reminiscent of the GSX-S1000, while the latter appears to be an all-new unit with manual adjustability. All this time, the latter half of the motorcycle looks exactly like the GT, thanks to the puny exhaust and chunky tail panels. The only addition is the aluminum luggage rack. Like the design, Suzuki has tweaked the riding posture as well. Both the rider and pillion saddles boast thicker padding than the GSX-S1000, while the handlebar now rests a new riser. This, along with the mid-set footrests, should ensure a sporty yet comfy sitting position. Twenty twenty four Yamaha Tracer nine GT Plus Yamaha Motor USA officially unveiled the twenty twenty four Tracer nine GT Plus for the American market. It's the newest halo bike in Yamaha's sport touring lineup, boasting features including adaptive cruise control, radar link unified brake system, a semi active KYB suspension, a six axis inertial measurement unit AMU, that works with its integrated ride modes, and more. After its big reveal overseas in 2022, we knew it was just a matter of time that Yamaha's technologically enhanced Tracer 9 GT Plus would make its way to our shores, or at least we hoped. Well, it's almost a year later and, sure enough, the bike that has been previously available in Europe is now up for grabs in the US, Yamaha has pulled the covers off the new 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus, crowned as its new sport touring flagship. That title is due in large part to the raft of updates bestowed on the new model, including an array of rider aids and tech advances like adaptive cruise control and a radar-linked brake system, along with semi-active suspension, integrated riding modes, and new smartphone connectivity. From a consumer standpoint, it makes the Tracer 9 GT Plus the least expensive motorcycle yet to get radar-assisted cruise control and safety systems. Let's talk about the engine first. The 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus is powered by Yamaha's liquid-cooled, dual-overhead cam, 890 cubic centimeters, cross-plane crankshaft triple, CP3, engine. Bore and stroke are 78.0 millimeters by 62.1 millimeters. Twenty twenty four BMW F nine hundred XR. BMW is famous for its super stylish and highly efficient bikes. BMW unveiled its new adventure bike, F900 XR 2024, expected to be launched in 2023. It will be available in three colors racing red, black with black storm metallic, and light white. BMW F900 XR 2024 will be powered by an 895 cubic centimeters engine that develops a power of 99 horsepower and 67 foot-pounds of torque. It will have a fuel tank capacity of 15.5 liters. BMW F900 XR 2024 will be a six-speed gearbox, a slipper clutch, and a final chain drive. ABS, automatic stability control, and rain and road ride modes are standard, as are adjustable brake and clutch hand levers and a 6.5-inch TFT display. The dimension of the F900 XR 2024 is 2160 mm in length, 860 mm in width, and overall height is 1320 mm, and a 1521 mm wheelbase. The curb weight is 219 kilograms. BMW F900 XR 2024 comes with a combined braking system of both wheels and front and rear disc brakes. BMW F900 XR 2024 offers a fully digital instrument console with an eco indicator, real-time fuel efficiency, gear position indicator, a service reminder, an LED headlamp, and a tail lamp. Transmission duties continue to be handled by a six-speed gearbox. The maximum speed of the bike is 124 miles per hour. 
A permanent magnet alternator for 16W motor and 12V-12A battery will have been installed in the electrical system.